Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Physio Trends. This is me Physio Prem Shah and I am going to give you answer for Physio Quest Season 2 question number 6. The question goes something like this that we have to identify that which is the event which signifies that patient can go forward to the cardiac rehabilitation phase 2 after the 8th week of cardiac rehabilitation. And option given to us are option A which is echocardiogram, option B which is high intensity or uh, endurance level of activity which is aerobic activities and option C is minimal treadmill test and option D is maximal treadmill test. Now my dear friends looking at the option it is very much clear that echocardiogram basically cannot be useful over here in the rehabilitation phase. The reason behind that is because echocardiogram normally is used to identify any abnormalities with the heart pumping, beating activities and any abnormalities with the structure. So that can be used to identify if patient is having myocardial infarction or not. Now here the situation is different already patient has been diagnosed and as well as now going for the rehabilitation. So that is uh, that is very clear that this option cannot be true. Second option given to is aerobic exercises. Now aerobic exercises is kind of a protocol that can be used in any rehabilitation protocol and this cannot signify that whether we should start another phase of exercise or not. This is not a test it is just an exercise so that is why again this cannot be a correct answer. Option number C which is minimal level of treadmill test. Now yes this thing can be this is a test can be used to initiate the second phase of rehabilitation in cardiac rehab. So what we do is we check first for the minimum treadmill test before entering the patient in second phase of cardiac rehabilitation but not to finish with the cardiac rehabilitation because in this test we basically perform the activities which is predetermined. We predetermine that for how much duration patient has to perform the activity. If patient is able to do that, that means okay fine. We are not testing the highest capacity of the patient. So that is just used for the pre phase for the second phase not for the post. So that is why this answer cannot be correct. Now the only left option is option D which is maximal intensity treadmill test. This is the correct answer because this test basically identifies patient's capacity to perform, patient's endurance to perform in that particular level of activity and that is why this can be the correct answer my dear friends. I hope that you have understood this and if you still have any doubts do let me know in the comment section and if you want to know more about such questions you can check out my series PhysioQuest 1 as well as PhysioQuest 2 on my YouTube channel.